Dan, Phoenix, Arizona, on Schnitt Height. Todd, how you doing, man? Nice talking to you. Thank you. Hey, I heard you mention that uh, since Obama came into office that we've got 3,000 more sheets of EPA rules and regulations. Yeah, some and that it's 2,900 or 3,000 pages, some, <laughs> somewhere around there. Well, I, I just had to call you and tell you, I'm on a fiber optic project in the southwest desert going across the country. Uh, don't, tell have, me that, don't tell me there's some little snake or reptile or little insect that... Uh, oh, no. Right. Oh, Todd, it's burrowing owls and turtles. Oh, but, I'm close but, enough. <laughs> but dig this. We have eight employees that are actually doing the work, and we have six environmental and biological inspectors with us 24-7. Oh, gee. And you have to pay for that, correct? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. For uh, was it the burrowing owl and and the what? What is it? There's some kind of uh, turtle out there that uh, that uh, you, you can't be within 250 feet of, or the biologist has to come and move it with special gloves and all that kind of what, stuff. The, the turtle? The turtle? Yeah. It, if you pick it up, it pees and then it dies. Like <laughs> I, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait a second. The turtle pees then dies. It pees and then it loses its moisture, and if it doesn't get moisture right away, it'll it'll die of uh, dehydration, right? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Call up Sheila <laughs> Jackson Lee. Maybe she'll give you some Pepsi Max to to <laughs> to give the turtle. Just well, bring, I'll tell you, I got a great idea. Just bring some Gatorade out there and give the turtle some Gatorade. Rehydrate that sucker. Well, yeah, that, that's great. But the biologist would have to do it because no one else was allowed to touch it. Oh, my. So what, what is it costing to have these biologists there to touch the peeing turtle? Well, you figure the guys have to be making 25 or $30 an hour. They have to be making $125 a day for living expenses, and they're getting 51 cents a mile. All right. Can I get a count on how many turtles have peed? We haven't seen one in the last three weeks. Let me go on eBay and see if any of this turtle pees on eBay. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, this is an example. All right, so this this fiber optic project, what is this? Is it for uh, television? For we're, 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 we're putting in fiber optic in the existing duct structure that r runs along the uh, DOT. L like, right the, the rail, like the railroad track areas, right? Well, well yeah, it's, it's right along the highway. We've got the farmlands on one side, the highway on the other side. Right. And and if there's a brewing owl within 250 feet, oh, we have to stop work. All right, so but this the farm is track, farm tractors can go right on through. Right. No, but but you guys are putting in fiber optic cable for what? For for TV or internet communications or whatever? Well, it it, it would be for uh, uh, information data. All right, data. Ugh, unbelievable. Yeah. All right, but good luck. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You know, in Texas, they have the they have the, the little reptile issue. These new richly found areas of, uh, of of oil and other areas in Texas, they've got this this lizard. You've got the uh, the whole fish thing out in California. Was that out uh, in the Imperial Valley? They have the the little smelt fish uh, killing farmers' crops to to save this little guppy or whatever the hell this thing was. Uh, we, we, how, about, how about the the millions and millions, maybe tens of millions that have been built, and conduits and tunnels that have been built so cockroaches can cross the road? I don't know about cockroaches, but you know, little, little animals. And I'm an animal lover, but come on. All right, one eight hundred eight zero one eighty nine ninety nine.